Hunt. Well, we believe that Tim Richmond is available for an interview with Larry Newber down in the pit area. Well, if there's a hometown favorite, I guess it'd be the guy standing with me right now. Tim, is it good to come home? Yeah, it's real good to come home. It's uh, too bad you're in an oval track around here. I don't mind these road courses, but uh, I'd much rather be on a road or a uh, oval course right now. Tim, how many times in your career have you been on a road course? Well, this is uh, my fifth time. If we make the race here, this will be the fifth time on a road course and uh, second time in a champ car on a road course, so it's a little different. How did it feel, Tim? Was it uncomfortable? Well, yesterday, you know, we're not we're not used to running these cars in the rain. As a matter of fact, we don't run them in the rain, but the contract that was signed here said uh, rain, run, or, uh, run, rain or shine, so I don't know. Uh, it was kind of fun yesterday if I'd have been prepared for it. If, I had, to, if I'd have had my shield in the water where I could see a little bit better, it'd have been all right. But. It's kind of a big mental change, I would imagine, to go out there and have rain splashing across your visor, isn't it? Yeah, it was different, you know, and I wiped it once and it just messed it all up and I had to come in, so <laughs> it's different, I believe me. Well, Tim was the Rookie of the Year this year at Indianapolis and uh, maybe the Rookie of the Year today here at Mid-Ohio for the Mid-Ohio races, if he can get it together. 2.436 miles an hour. That's a minute 33.47 seconds. That is unofficially ninth fastest at this point. Again, the fastest qualifier in the group number one session was Al Unzer at 101.803. The second group of qualifiers is out there right now, and we're watching Tim Richmond, the driver of car number 21. We talked about Tim a little earlier. In fact, we talked to Tim a little bit earlier. Richmond, of course, was the rookie of the year at the Indianapolis 500-mile race this year. He was the fastest car and driver in a practice period. However, he crashed his car on the first day of time trials and had to qualify on the second weekend, and he didn't start quite as well as he had hoped to. Down to the pit area once again, Larry Newber. Jim Hall, the owner. All right, Larry. Well, uh, Johnny Rutherford's best qualification lap was 99.919, as you indicated, the fourth fastest at this point. Meanwhile, Tim Richmond continues to maneuver the turns here at Mid-Ohio, and we have clocked him at 1 minute 47 and 72 100 seconds for an average speed of 80.207 miles an hour. We will be going now to the track announcer for descriptions of more of the qualification runs. First, learn the course and then try for the hot laps. And he has an ample amount of time left in this qualifying session. We have Bill Alsop at 128.53. So he's getting down there up in the top 10, I should say. Bill Alsop, 41. 128.5. These spectators around the course, you might want to take a real good look at that number 24 Genesee beer wagon driven by Sheldon Kinzer. It's a beautiful automobile. The colors on it are just gorgeous. We are being complimented today in our coverage by the public address system here at Mid-Ohio. They have announcers all around the track and will be helping cover the race here today. Well, a couple of more uh, times are in. Sheldon Kinzer has been clocked at 86.982 and Tim Richmond at 80.207. We go back down to the pit area and Larry Newber once again. All right, as the cars come down to complete a lap, we do have Tim Richmond off of the race course in car number 21. Tim has gotten himself out of that race car and assisting in pushing the car off of the racetrack. One of the safety officials from the United States Auto Club is right there, but you can see that Tim Richmond is out of the race car and okay, but it looks like he's going to be out of the race. Meanwhile, we go back to the lead. Bobby Unzer continues to be our leader 